What's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy Zay back here with another video, man. And today, as y'all see by that title, I'm bringing y'all a story time on how I lost my virginity, man. And I never told this story to nobody before, so y'all get the privilege to hear this story before it anybody you feel me so yeah we about to go ahead and get into this thing but before we get into the video man i need you to go ahead and subscribe i need you to go ahead and like comment other video ideas you want to see i need you to go follow my social media the link will be in the description to my social media man and yeah we're gonna go ahead and jump into this thing man so let's get it all right man so bro this was like a little while ago so it was like i think it was uh spring sophomore year before right before summer yeah, it was right before summer, right before we got out for summer to go into my junior year of high school. I was at, uh, wait, before all that, you know how when you plan to do something, you be excited about it? Like down the night before and then you barely sleep. That's how it was. So like, I ain't gonna say her name in this video. So I'm gonna just call her a uh, girl. I'm gonna call her girl. So I ain't gonna lie. Girl, me and girl, we was um planning it. You know what I'm saying? Cause we had to make sure what nobody at the crib, we had to make sure the time was right. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. So we had to do all that, right? And um, yeah, so like I was like nervous, bro. I was nervous as hell, so I couldn't sleep that night. I was all nervous. Woke up the next morning, I ain't eat no breakfast. I was like nervous as fuck. Like I was like I'm about to go to jail or some shit, right? So yeah, while I'm nervous at school and shit, like I'm I'm barely doing work. You know what I'm saying? I'm barely um doing it. I'm barely talking to nobody because like bro, I don't know what it was, but like I was nervous as hell. Like I was like scared, and um I don't want to say scared, but I was like. You know what I'm saying? My stomach was fucking bubbling all day. So I, we were seeing each other in school and stuff. And we just like kept smiling at each other. We kept like, you know what I'm saying? Cause we knew it was about to go down. You feel me? We knew it was about to happen. And so, um, yeah, so like, um, school had ended that day and I had workouts. So I was ready to work out. Like I couldn't even focus. I was messing up. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't getting the plays right. You know what I'm saying? Lifting weights. I was like struggling. Cause I was nervous. Like someone was in my head telling me like, boy, like, you about to do some shit you ain't never did before. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, so workouts ended and I had went to the uh, locker room in the field house, took a shower in the coach locker room. They didn't even know about that though. We weren't even supposed to be in there. Players weren't even supposed to be in there, but they didn't even know about it. You feel me? So I snuck in there, took me a shower. I took me a shower. When I tell you, I stood in that bathroom for about 30 minutes after I put my clothes on. Literally like 30 minutes, bro. Bro, I'm talking about, I was like contemplating. I was like, should I text her like, I'm not, I'm not going. I was trying to make them an excuse for me not to go over there. You feel me? Cause I was scared, bro. <laughs> I was like, bro, I can't. Like, I was scared. I was like, I feel like I wasn't ready. I knew I was ready, but I feel like, um, nigga, nigga, you ain't never did this shit before. This is gonna be some new shit to you, nigga. You feel me? I ended up didn't text and I ended up actually going. You feel me? I ended up going over there. Mind you, bro, she stayed like literally like 10 minute walk from the school. So I had to walk over there cause I ain't had no car. So I had to, uh, walk to the crib and shit um while i'm walking to the crib like i left out as soon as i hit the top of the street i cut on j cole wet dreams <laughs> bro <laughs> it wasn't nothing like that first time she was in my mad class i cut that shit on when i tell you that shit put me in the mode bro that shit put me in the money I'm old, bro. I was like, I was like, yeah, hell yeah, I'm good now. I'm about to go over here, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to go over here, got up. You feel me? Like, this that song literally four times. It took me, not four times, probably two or three. I listened to that song like two or three times before I got to the crib. That's the only song I listened to before I got to the crib, bro. So, like, yeah, the whole walk there, I was like, yeah, I'm like, in the bathroom, I was like, I'm scared. I can't do that. When I cut on J. Cole with Dreams, the whole walk over there, I was like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm I'm, I'm going crazy. You feel me? So um, I'm walking over there with my mama calling me. She's like, where you at? I told her I was going to a friend house because she she thought she usually pick me up after a workout shit. So um, because I didn't even tell her like I was going to somebody else's house. I was just trying to do that shit real quick. You feel me? I was trying to goddamn make it snappy. You know what I'm saying? Um. She called me like, wait, wait. I said, well, I'm about to go to a friend house to play the game real quick. What, what? She was like, why you didn't tell me? I was like, oh, I forgot. It was just a last minute decision type shit. I made up something on the fly. Good. She was like, oh, okay, well, just let me know when you're done. I said, bet. So um, as I'm walking over there, I get to the house. Um, I test her. I was like, where you at? Tell me why she went there. Tell me why she said, I'm out with my mama right now. I'm on my way back. She was like, if you outside my house, hide behind the house, hide behind the apartment. That blew me so bad when I tell you, like, I was like, bro, I'm just finna leave because that blew me. I'm like, you tell, like, uh, 
I get here and you, I get here and you not even here. You feel me? I was mad as hell. So that blew me. That took me down a notch hood. I'm behind the house, right? I'm waiting for her to tell me like, uh, you good? Woo, woo, woo. Cause she said her mom had to go to work. They just stopped. They just went somewhere uh, together when she got out of school and she was gonna drop her back off at the crib. I was like, okay, cool. Uh, she come back. She get back. I'm behind the house. I'm waiting for her mama to drive off so I can go around the uh, front of the door. And um, yeah. So she was like, all right, you good? You can come in. When I tell you, nigga, fuck the song. Fuck the song. My heart dropped into my ass. When I tell you my heart dropped into my ass, I tell you like, I'm like, bro, I'm not ready. I said, I'm not ready. I said, I thought I was ready, but I'm not. You feel me? I thought I was. I wasn't ready, bro. So, um, yeah, I'm walking to the front slow as shit. Literally, like the song described, the J. Cole song described everything that was going through my hands or sweating. My stomach felt like it was fucking twisting. I was like, oh shit, like I'm really... I'm really finna do this too. Mind you, girl wasn't a virgin. I was. You feel me? She wasn't. And the thing is, I lied. I told her I wasn't. I told her like, nigga, I, I'm like that. I told her, I told her I was like that. Like, nigga, I'll tell you, I'm that nigga. Like, I got plenty bodies. You feel me? I just played. But now nah, I told her like, yeah, I done did it before. Woo -woo. So she thinking, oh yeah, she about to have the best experience the whole time, nigga. I'm, I'm a newbie. Like, I don't even know what's about to go on. Like, I don't even know where to hold that. But um. Yeah, and if y'all see this bump on my shit, don't mind. It's a little pimple, bro. This shit it irritated me and shit. But anyway, walking around the house, hands sweating, stomach turning. Um, I'm like, damn. I was thinking, like, I'm about to hit a quick you and go down the street. Cause I, I'm about to tell her, like, I live. So I, I, I was like, but you got to do it. You can't be no bitch forever. So I walked around the house, bro. She see me. She said, hey, I'm like, what's up? You feel me? I'm trying to play it cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, We get into the house. By the way, I'm sweating. Face sweating. I'm sweating on top of it. I'm sweating because I walk there. I'm sweating because I'm nervous. And I'm sweating because, nigga, I'm, I sweat a lot. You feel me? We get in the house. We go to the room. My, her stepdad there. But her stepdad was like, he he, he wasn't, he, he knew, like, he didn't care. Like, I walked past the nigga and everything. He was just looking. He's like, mm. And I was like, we go to the room. It took, it took 10 minutes to even do anything because me, nigga. Because, like, as soon as we walked in, like, literally, as soon as we walked in, take your shirt off. What? What you tweaking? What nigga? I ain't ready. Hold on, hold on, bro. Let me catch my breath. Let me calm down. You feel me? So I'm in there like, hold on. So like, mind you, um, I don't know if I want to say this. Fuck it, I'm gonna say it. In there, took ten minutes. I'm I'm faking, looking for the condom. I can I, I really like. I had one. I knew it was that. I was just trying to stall, bro. Like I was dead. I don't know why I was trying to stall, but I was scared, bro. Like I'm faking, looking for the shit. I'm like, damn. I, I, I'm trying to tell her like I left my shit at the crib. Like we can't do it. You feel me? I was like, damn, I'm looking. So she took the bath. She looking for it and shit. She like, damn, how you leaving it down? I'm like, I don't know. I'm thinking like, oh, I'm free. I get to go. I'm, I'm all free. She was like, fuck it, it's cool. I'm like, oh, it's cool. Oh, now you trying to, I'm down bad at this point because like, nigga, I'm, for, for one, I lied, told her that nigga at this shit. Two, you trying to make me go in, I know condom and I'm a virgin. Nigga, do you know what can happen? So, um, so I'm like, okay, cause like, nigga, I'm in there already. I might as well just go ahead and get it over with. Like, ain't no turning back now at this point. So I'm like, all right, cool. She like, I right, bet, take your shirt off. I'm like, damn, I'll take my shirt off. She like, take your pants off. I hit her with that. You take yours off first. Oh, nigga, I was smooth with that shit. Hey, I might have been a new, I might have been new, but I still got that game. She like, okay, fuck it. She took hers off with the quickness too. I'm talking about, oh, shit. I'm like, oh, shit, like, nigga, it's about to go down. She like, now nah, you, I took my shit off. Fuck it, hood, took it off. Um, then, so I ain't gonna get too much into detail because I got a girlfriend. I ain't trying to make it weird. You feel me? But long story short, nigga, um, shit happened. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Went straight into it like that. Went straight into it. No, no foreplay, nothing. Went straight into that bitch. And then after that, after everything happened, tell me why. Tell me why my mama called in the middle of the shit going on. Like the middle of me losing my position. My mama called, bro. She like, boy, where you at? It's been like an hour. I'm like, oh my, we still here playing the game. Like she the whole time, mind you, uh, a girl right there listening to the conversation. She like. Like, nigga, did you just lie to your mama, nigga? <laughs> I'm like, bro, what? Like, I feel like a whole bitch. I'm like, yeah, I just lied. Like, it was crazy. My mama come pick me up. After that, my mama had came, and I got in the car with my mama. She was like, uh, who house is this? And I was like, it's my boy. I forgot who I, what name I said. I, didn't, I don't even know nobody with that name. I just said a random name and shit. 
I was like, um, it's so and so house. She was like, who that? I was like, somebody in my class. He told me he could beat me in Madden. I uh, pulled up and uh, whooped him. She's like, oh, okay, okay. So I was like, yeah, whole time I'm in there, be happy as hell. Like, I'm like, mom, you just don't even know I just got pussy. Like, you feel me? I'm like, yeah, I'm that nigga. I got home, right? My little cousin, he was playing the game, right? I'm going in the bitch. Like, I feel like, I feel like I'm the man. I'm going in that bitch hood. Like, nigga, yeah, I'm like that. I just did what I did. You feel me? So, um, I get to the uh room, put my shit down. I'm finna text the niggas. Like, I'm finna text the boys. Like, y'all, get what? Get what? You feel me? I'm, I'm finna go crazy. Um, I'm texting the boys. How about girl text me? Talking about some, uh, so, something, something. We gotta do it again. Type shit. I looked at the message. I'm like, ooh, I'm not a nigga. Like, she thought my shit was raw. Like, top, top notch. You feel me? So, I'm, I'm laying my phone down. I'm about to find some clothes. Go take a shower. I'm telling you why my little cousin come in the room. Nigga picks up my phone, look at it, say, oh, go tell my brother, right? He tell my brother, my brother talking about something. He said, all I hear is Zay, Zay. I'm like, what the fuck going on? I come in, I'm like, what? He's like, nigga, you just lost your vision? You didn't do I'm like, oh my God, bro, what the fuck? I'm thinking, I don't know what, the, I'm thinking like somebody done, she done told somebody, somebody done told him. Whole time, my little cousin got my phone smiling. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Bro? So that nigga tell my mom, his snitch ass tell my fucking mama, bro. This nigga tell my mama, right? And whole time, my mama, she she said she thought I was at uh my friend house, so that made it worse because I done lied. He tell my mama, my mama mad. She like, you did it, you did it, what the, what the, what the, you don't even know what you're doing. I'm like, bro, I'm just listening, like, bro, it's not even that deep. She called my daddy, thinking I'm about to get in trouble. Your son just uh lost his vanity rule. He just sneaking, doing that sneaking, having said what do I said, okay, cool. So I'm like, bro, I know my daddy not finna trip, right? So he said, I right, walk out the room, let me talk to you. I walk out the room, get up to my mama, that nigga talking about some boy, I'm proud of you, boy. When I tell you, I'm like, oh shit, he talking about some boy, I'm proud of you, boy. How was it? Well, how was it? I was like, bro, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know. I think I played it cool and said something like, nah, it was cool, you know what I'm saying? He was like, he was like, I don't know why your mama mad. I was like, me neither, bro. And so yeah, that's how I really went. And um, Man, to this day, I feel like that was like the funniest moment of my life. Funniest, intense, craziest, scariest feelings I ever had, bro. But um, yeah, man, that was the story of how I lost my virginity, man. And um, if any of you niggas try to lose y'all virginity, bro, play J. Cole. Shit gonna get you right. And don't be like me. Make sure you wrap that shit up, bro. I was dumb. I, some shit could have happened. Or anything could happen, you feel me? But uh, make sure you uh, wrap that shit up, man. So that's it for this video, man. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get off of here, man. I love y'all, man. Thank you for 200 subscribers, man. You feel me? 200 subscribers. Thank y'all, man. I love y'all so much, man. Got a lot more in store for y'all, man. We got a lot coming. So, uh, yeah, man, that's the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow my social media. The link gonna be in the description, man. And yeah, be out of here, gang.